In the spring and fall of each year, the Tallman Hotel in Upper Lake, California, is pleased to host Rhodes Scholars from all over the country on a four-day wine appreciation program aptly titled, North of Napa, Wine Country the Way It Used to Be. At the historic Tallman Hotel, we provide our guests with luxurious accommodations, top quality food and drink, and attentive service. In addition to morning lectures, we visit beautiful vineyards on the east side of Clear Lake on the first day, wineries and tasting rooms on the west side of the lake on day two, and we explore the south part of the county on the final day. The primary instructor for the program is Matt Hughes, seen here with Six Sigma owner Kai Allman. Matt is the winemaker at Six Sigma, a wonderful person and a really great teacher. Here he is starting to explain the unique features of Lake County viticulture on the first morning. At 1,400 to over 3,000 feet above sea level, Lake County calls itself Wines with Altitude. Here we visit the Shannon Ridge Vineyards high above the lake with our hostess, Audrey Shannon. And our tourism in the county is starting to increase because we're finally getting the due respect I think we deserve here in Lake County and have deserved for a long time. For years, everybody's been drinking Lake County wine and you never knew it uh, because for years we've been contracting our grapes out to Napa and Sonoma counties. And about 12 years ago, everybody kind of got on board the same boat and said, why are we going to keep giving these guys all of our juice when we can be making our own? And so now we have, I believe it's 35 wineries in the county. Uh, we have what's called Lake County Wine Adventure coming up pretty soon here. It's the last weekend of July. We'll get about 3,000 extra people in the county just to come and participate in a two-day event of eat, drink, and be happy pretty much. <laughs> From Shannon Ridge, we descend to lake level for a visit to the beautiful Siego Vine Garden with our host, Jim Fetzer. This was a big walnut farm. You'll see in Lake County a lot of walnuts, a lot of pears, and now a lot of grapes. And so we proceeded to take most of the walnuts out. We left some of them. And uh, my idea was to build a biodynamic farm. So uh, what we do is we farm here using organic and biodynamic uh, farming techniques. After our focus on viticulture, Matt turns his attention to winemaking on the second day, and we visit Lake County's oldest premium winemaking facility, Steel Wines in Kelseyville. It's not harvest time in May, but there's plenty happening on the bottling line, in the tanks and the barrel room. After a picnic lunch at Steel, we head to the Wildhurst Tasting Room in Kelseyville, check out a local glass blower, and then listen as Nick Butita at Rosa de Oro talks about his Italian varietals. Uh, the particular wine you have now, it's a rosé from the Dolcetto vines that we have. And this particular year, uh, year before the last that you drink, when we harvested that, it was uh, very fruity. Chase Water in Kelseyville makes some great wines, but here Emilio de la Cruz takes us on a tour and tasting of the wide variety of their delicious olive oils. So basically what we're, we're going to do is walk down the ramp here and I'll show you the different equipment that we use to process the olives and make it into olive oil. So, and so what happens here is uh, the olive oil is extracted and then it's processed one more time through another centrifuge 
which spins even faster than this at 6,800 RPMs. That's called the burn. So you should really, if you can, you should try to taste them in order from left to right because if you taste your more pungent oils before your soft oils, your soft oils won't seem nearly as pungent because you've got the residual on your palate. So best to work from Saviano all the way down to the Fabulosa. Wednesday is Wine Appreciation and Pairing Day with a morning class led by Pietro Butita followed by a paired lunch in the Tallman dining room. Thank you. What's the green vegetable? The green vegetable in the butternut squash is a basilla pepper. You're right. Which I uh, never just cut up real small and then we sauteed them. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you. Very good. Our final day takes us to the beautiful Brassfield Estate, where a Cielo Fox shows us the state-of-the-art winery and ornate tasting room. It is very unique, and actually the whole reason our Appalachian and our valley exists. Basically, Round Mountain Volcano erupted, it dammed up High Valley, Appalachian here, and created our, our little region. This is about a 14,000 acre valley. We have 2,500 acres, 270 of which are planted. After a visit to the extensive Brassfield Caves, we head to Six Sigma, where Matt divides us into teams for a competitive wine blending contest. And rotate them through, and they're now right here, and this is probably why we can't see them, yeah. is they're in this pasture that's surrounding this pond here, mm -hmm. and they'll help take all that vegetation <laughs> down, but right now it's quite tall, so you might see some white... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Before heading back to the Tallman for our closing dinner, we meet Greg Graham at his vineyard and then check out the lake view at Vigilance, where we snap a group photo as a reminder of a wonderful wine week in Lake County.